I wanted to find the x and y intercepts. To find the x intercepts, all right, if you guys just remember and visualize the graph, x intercept is where it crosses the x axis. That means your output value or your y value is equal to zero. So I plug in zero in for my f of x. Zero equals x squared over x squared plus nine. Now, since this is on the bottom of my fraction, it's my denominator. To get rid of this, I need to multiply by that number. So I multiply by that number on both sides. Well, x squared plus 9 divided by x squared plus 9, these are going to cancel out to leave me 1. So therefore, this cancel times 0 gives me 0, so I'm left with 0 equals x squared. Take the square root, 0 equals x. So the x-intercept, um, or my x-intercept is going to be at zero. Zero. To find the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is when my x value equals zero. So you're going to plug in zero in for x. So I say f of x equals zero squared all over zero squared plus nine. Right? And what you guys will notice is this becomes 0 over 9. Well, 0 divided by anything is going to give you 0. So here we have f of x equals 0. So for this problem, my x-intercept is 0. My y-intercept is 0. So my, you know, my intercept It's just going to become 0, comma 0. All right? Now, the next thing they asked for this problem was to find the domain and to go ahead and find, or find the vertical, I'm sorry, not the domain, but the vertical asymptote and the uh, vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. So remember, to find the vertical asymptote, what we need to do is we need to set our denominator equal to 0. So I say x squared plus 9 equals 0. And this is for your vertical asymptote. So to solve for this, the next one, I subtract a 9. And when I take the square root, I have x equals the square root of negative 9. You cannot take the square root of a negative number, right? That's going to give us into an, actually an imaginary asymptote. So therefore, there's not going to be a vertical asymptote. Since, we're going to have, since it's going to be an imaginary or a complex number, there is no vertical asymptote. When looking for the horizontal asymptote, uh, what we need to do is we need to look at their degrees. And since their degrees are equal to each other, what we do is we take the coefficient of each value and we divide them. So this would be 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. So therefore, we can say the horizontal asymptote Is going to be equal to one. Any questions? On what? Yes. Did we have to do that little graph thing there? No. I just wanted to kind of visually show you. So the horizontal asymptote is at one. That means this graph, like let's say it's right there, there's going to be this little dotted line that's going on that my graph is never going to touch. All right, and we do know also that the intercept it intersects right there. So the only thing we know is my graph is going to intersect right there, and it's never going to touch that line. That's all we know for right now.